All right, uh, we want to find the equation for a tangent line, uh, in particular the one that's tangent to f of x equals x squared at 1, 2. We're trying to find the equation for a line. That's kind of the key thing that we're looking for. And we know that the equation for a line uh, is y equals mx plus b. That's something we've picked up in our algebra classes. That should be familiar to you, I hope, already, y equals mx plus b. And what we're learning here in calculus is that the slope of the tangent line is the derivative at that particular point. So f prime of 1 should give us the slope of the tangent line. So we need to find the derivative at 1 to get the slope. And uh, we can do that a couple different ways. We can use the limit definition. Um, and eventually we're going to use some shortcuts that you can do to do that. Uh, let's go ahead with the limit definition here real quick. So it's the limit as uh, h goes to 0 of, we're looking at 1, so it's going to be f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 all over h. And uh, so uh, if I split that up, um, that's looking at f of 1 plus h is going to be 2 times 1 plus h squared, or 2 times 1 plus uh, 2h plus h squared. If you multiply out the 1 plus h using FOIL or the extended distributed property, uh, we'll end up with uh, 1 plus 2h plus h squared. And then distributing the 2 through gives us 2 plus 4h plus uh, h squared. I also need f of 1, uh, and that's going to be 2 times 1 squared which would be just 2. Why did I write 1? It's going to be 2. All right, and so to use the limit definition, I want to take the limit as h goes to 0 of 2 plus 4h plus 2h squared and subtract uh, uh, 2 f of x uh, and divide that whole thing by h. Um, you got to be careful with that negative sign that you got to distribute that through, but I just have a single number over there, so everything works out pretty nice. This again is f prime of 1. Uh, so the top will cancel, the 2's will cancel, so I'm looking at the limit as h goes to 0 of 4h plus 2h squared divided by h. We can factor out a uh, h on the top. cancel that h that we factored out with the one on the denominator and then as h goes to 0 we'll be looking at 4 plus 2 times 0 so we end up with just 4 so that's going to be the slope of our tangent line so we know our tangent line looks like y equals 4x plus b uh, and there's a couple of different ways to ways to do it I like using this y equals mx plus b formula because that's the that's the, I mean, I already know that one. That's the one I use all the time. Uh, and I know that uh, my equation has to go through the point 1, 2. Our tangent line is at the point 1, 2, that, so that in this equation, when x is equal to 1, y has to equal 2. When I put in 1 for x, I need to get out 2. That should be plus. I need to get out a 2 for y. When I put in 1 for x, I need to get out 2 for y. So if I plug those values in, uh, it gives me a little equation I can solve for b. 2 is equal to 4 plus b, so subtract 4 from both sides, and you'll get b is equal to negative 2. So our equation is y equals 4x minus 2. Um, the alternative version that you have is the point-slope formula. It's another formula that you have to use, but with the point-slope formula, you just plug in the numbers y uh, 1 is the equation for your point it would be a 2 m I found previously is going to be the derivative it's going to be a 4 here and x1 is the x-coordinate of the point so you'll get y minus 2 is equal to 4 times the quantity x minus 1 and if we simplify that uh, distribute the 4 through the parentheses add 2 to both sides you get y is equal to 4x minus 2 and so you get to that answer right away. Um, we get to that same same value. 
same equation, just two different ways. Um, the the tricky part on the using the slope intercept form is having to remember to put the one in for x and the two in for y. That step uh, is the one that tends to trip people up the most. Uh, you, you you find the m, and then you go now. What do I do? Well, you got to put in one for x. When x is one, y needs to be two, and that gives you something you can solve to find out the b. Uh, the other way is you've got this other formula, and then you just plug in the values and simplify it. But it's another formula you have to remember the point slope formula. But which use whichever way you find uh, is easiest. Of course, we get the same answer: y equals four x minus two either way.